Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yosha and I'm your go-to girl for all things real. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a torrid shoe try-on haul. This is for my plus size girls with wide feet, large feet, no arch, all that good stuff. So if you are interested in seeing if torrid is true to width and how the shoes fit, then you wanna stay tuned through to the end of this video. Your girl purchased 12 pairs of shoes. Not four, not five, but 12 pairs of shoes. So <laughs> this video is going to be awesome. You're going to be able to see the different styles that I picked out. I have sandals. I have flip-flops. I have heels. I have a pair of boots. Just some variety. Whatever I don't like, we'll be going back. This is not a sponsored video. But I did make this video because I tried Target. I'll link that video up on the card above. And it was an epic fail for me. So a little bit about me, I have wide feet, I have flat feet, I have short toes, no arch, and it's really, really hard for me to find shoes that fit. I have tried so many different stores, and a lot of people put wide width on their shoes, and then it's not really true to wide width. So I asked you guys here on YouTube, as well as my Instagram followers, even TikTok. I have a new TikTok, so be sure to follow me there. Follow me everywhere. It's all Miss Exclusive 4. Show me some love. Stay connected with me. But I digress. Everybody said, girl, you got to try Torrid. Torrid is true for wide width people. So I placed an order literally probably the day or day after I uploaded the video about Target and everything arrived. I tried my best not to open it, but today your girl has stuff to do. So this was the first pair. It's just a pair of flip flops. I got them in the color black. This is perfect for spring, perfect for summer. Throw on and go. This size is 10 w it says that it was um 25.50 but that's not what i paid okay let me get this receipt out let me get the receipt i paid 17.85 and i bought these in the color black and in the color rose gold they did not have half sizes but it did say wide on it what i liked about these is that the inside of the shoe it has some support and some cushion to it like I don't know. You can see what I'm saying, but it's not just your regular, smegular $5 flip-flop. I wouldn't necessarily want to pay $25 for these, but if I could catch them under $20, I think it's good. Whatever doesn't work out, we'll be going back to tour tomorrow. Okay, because this order was like close to $400. So I don't got time to be keeping stuff that don't fit or it just doesn't look cute. So this is the second pair of flip-flops. It's supposed to be a rose gold. To be honest, this is more of like a bronzy color. You, I mean, they say in rose gold. It's not just my phone and my lighting. Like, it doesn't look like rose gold. So, it's the same shoe. I overlay myself with these on. Let you know what I think. Again, I wouldn't want to pay $25. So, if you can catch these on sale for under $20, then it's good. Like I said, I love the cushion and the support. Because my usual problem with flip-flops is the lack of support. These are the 4S Cheetah Stretch Fabric T-Strap Sandals. I paid $20.65. The tag on here says that they're $29.50. So when I bought this stuff from Torrid, Torrid had a huge 30% off sale. Y'all, I recommend looking online before you go into the store. The store be gouging. I saw a really cute set because I was at the mall earlier today. And I plan on getting it. But y'all, they wanted $70 for a cheetah romper. And I was like, I'm going to go buy that same romper online to get 30% off. Because who's paying $70 for a romper or a jumpsuit? Whatever. That stuff is pricey. So check online. These are a 10 and a half. I got them in a 10 and a half because usually stuff that has a strap like this, it doesn't stretch over my feet. This is stretchy. Like this, it's a little tight, but it's stretchy. So what I think is with this being a 10 and a half, it should fit because of the stretch. And then I want to note that the back of the um, shoe actually connects to the top where this part is in the shoe. My only concern with that is that usually things like this can come out. So I wouldn't want to get caught in rain with any of these flip-flops or sandals. The design is, is meant for a wide foot because a lot of sandals that are not wide width friendly, 
don't have any kind of strings. And y'all, the sandals, like the real legit sandals that are not like flip floppy style, actually come with a box, which I'm so happy to see because I actually keep my shoes in the box when I have a box for them. And these look huge, honey. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit these. All right, well, let me show you what they look like anyway. These look like I should have sized down. And somebody told me, they were like, some of Tori's shoes run super big. Looking at this, I'm looking like, uh, I feel like it might fit my feet once I try them on, but my foot probably gonna be hanging off. So I probably should have ordered this in a size nine and a half wide. Well, they're cute shoes. Like, don't get me wrong. These are really cute, but I think they're gonna be too big. But I like the weaving on the side. It is a thick shoe. Like you got this white material here. Then you got this layer of netting and then you get this part. So this is a three layered sandal. It's pretty thick, okay? They look like they're gonna last, but they do look like they run big. So I'm going to try them on in a minute and we're gonna see how they fit. So I took a risk with this one. I was like, I won't, ooh, oh wow. It's the heel for me. Okay, so I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to walk in these. They, they cute though, okay? They caught my attention on the website. I was like, I don't have nothing like this. I could probably wear this with an all white dress or all black dress or even a monochromatic gray would look cute. I thought that these were really cute to go out in. I didn't realize how big the dang heel is. I will say, I feel like it has support though. Um, Although it is really like, golly, like my heels usually be about half the size, y'all. One thing that I do notice about the Torrid shoe is that when it comes to heels like this, this part is slanted, which I like. If you have a wide foot, the slant seems to accommodate your foot better. Traditional shoes typically just have a straight across approach. And then what happens is your feet, your pinky toe ends up like hanging off the side because it's not enough like fabric and material. There was one more pair of shoes. I'm gonna go get that pair because I wore them today. I wore these today. I just felt like it paired well with what I have on because it has like silver detailing in it. These were the first pair of shoes that had this type of slide. It's kind of like an open slide type look, if you think about it. Cause you know, a slide usually has material here and then your foot hangs out here. It's not a thong flip flop. And I wouldn't consider this a flip flop. I would consider this more of a slide style, but it's like an open sandal. I really love these detailing on here. And I felt like it looked really cute with this matching set that I have on from Rainbow Shop. Stretchy. This particular style, 10 and a half is definitely a winner for it. Um, I think it really just depends on the size of the shoe. Some of these shoes I bought in a 10 wide. Some of these shoes I bought 10 and a half. Let's get into these slides. I can never get slides that fit. Y'all know I love Nike. I love Nike apparel for like working out and stuff. Their slides don't ever fit my feet and they do not have half sizes. Well, I saw these cute slides with this faux fur and they're pink, which is like my favorite color. They did not have high, um, half sizes in these. Otherwise I would have went 10 and a half based on my other experiences. But I want y'all to see that right there. It's 10 wide width. So I gave my faith and I said, okay, I'm gonna give it a chance. These were $20.65. The tag says the full price is $29.50. I will try these on in a minute, but I love the way they feel. Let's get into the back of this slide though. Not only does it have like this thick rubbery material on the back, but it also seems to have this grip placed in here so that you're not gonna slide and fall if you out there you know, wear knees in the summertime near the pool or something. But honestly, I would recommend not wearing these on a rainy day just because this material right here, like it, this don't mix with water. Like, but the quality, the quality is pretty good. I'm hoping that my foot slides in and it like doesn't meet because I have short fat feet. I hope my feet don't like meet like right there. And then I'm like, wow, really? This is just a basic pair of black sandals. The material is very similar to the previous material of those flip-flops. 
you can see it's like soft. It's got some cushion in there. And then it just has this little back on there. Um, it looks like this also has that slanted style, which I like. And then it has a buckle on the back. So this is a sandal. You can't go wrong with a black sandal. Next, I'm showing you guys another sandal. This one looks the same as the previous sandal that I just showed you. But it has this really cute and fun floral print, which I love. Off the shoulder shirts and rompers and things like that would pair super cute with this. This is the black double strap chunky heel in a size 10. Says it was $62.50. I paid, what did I pay? $34.65, which is good, okay? So, let's get into this. Now, I'm hoping these aren't too big because I actually do like them. It's a platform heel, which is different. For some reason, this is coming back in style, though. Um, again, it has that slanted type look. This is not a 10 and a half. This is just a regular 10. So I will have to see how that's going to fit. The, the heel itself is very hard. It's, you know. <laughs> so um, good quality, okay? I can understand why they charge $60 for these shoes. And it seems like it is going to be really comfortable. This is super soft. So I'm looking for something that's cute, comfortable. I can pair this with so many things. Why? Because it's all black. Like, you cannot go wrong with an all black shoe. Next, it's a similar shoe. It's got the platform style, but it is got um, a different style. So it's the white, first of all. So that's something that makes it different. But also, it goes up the foot. And I wanted to try this one because I wanted to know, like, is my foot going to be able to get into this shoe? Because my feet are wide. And I can't usually wear stuff with straps and things like that. So this one is also a 10 wide width. So it's not a 10 and a half. But I don't know. I think I may be able to fit it. My only concern with this one and the other one, they do look like they run a little big. So they look very similar as far as the this is similar. It almost has like a boot look to it but the styles are different like this is going to require my feet to fit through all these little straps and this is not stretchy material which one of these do you like better the white or the black i don't know i got the white because i'm like during the summertime you like to pull out your whites but i also love that the back of it is not white because that makes it a little bit different so like you could really do white on top black on the bottom and then pull these shoes out and it'll be really cute i'm on the final shoe which is a boot yes we still wear boots in the spring especially if it's raining you know they say april showers may flowers Sometimes we get cold days. I'm in Georgia. We get hot weather most of the time, but a lot of times we do have um, cold weather still. Like, we've been flipping the, the heat and the air back on at my house because one day it's hot, one day it's cold. But they had a combat boot, okay? I ordered it in a 10 and a half. I feel like 10 and a half is my true size. And these are wide with shoes. So I said, you know what? I've always wanted a cute combat boot. Something I can wear with leggings, something I can wear with jeans, just like a boot. But I wanted a basic boot. I didn't want nothing with a whole bunch of like mac like alligator and stuff like that because I want to be able to wear it with different things. So this is what this looks like. I like that there's a thickness. Like you hear that? It's thick. Cheaper boots, if you put your fingers in, it's going to leave a dent off rip because it's cheap. It's cheap material. This has some weight to it. It's kind of heavy. They zip. And that's a functional zipper. And then I just like this right here because this tells me that it's going to have some stretch, which is what I tend to need. Because a lot of us with wide feet, we got big calves too. And it makes it difficult for our boots to fit. So I'm really hoping that this fits. Not even because I'm like, oh, I'm going to wear these boots this spring. Like, this is going to be a year-round shoe. But we pull out our boots a lot in the colder months, like fall, winter. 
And if this fits, I'm going to be so happy because I'll have a, my fall boot ready. And I got it for a good price because boot season is going away. Ain't nobody really thinking about boots right now. People think about cute heels. People thinking about, you know, bathing suits. Like, we spring, we're going to be a summer before you know it. Kids going to be out of school. So, nobody's really worried about no boot. But I am because it was on sale, okay? So, the boot was $55.65 with the sale. Without the sale price, this boot is $99.50. $99.50. So your girl basically got this like, what more than was it? Was that thirty percent off? I feel like fifty five is not thirty percent. They had clearance as well. I think this was a clearance shoe because it was a boot. All right, you guys. So I tried on all of those shoes and I am tired. I'm about to wrap this video up and get ready for bed. But I wanted to give you guys my final thoughts because most of this video was filmed before I tried the shoes on. So I am definitely returning the leopard shoe that had like the beige netting. It was too big and it is not going to work for me. I'm also going to return the chest style shoes. Um, I think it was called like gingham or something. It was the only heel that was like real long. I really wanted that shoe to work out, but I think that my foot is too short um the width was perfect but it like the length was kind of awkward and it was kind of hurting my feet even though they're super cute i don't think that they're a good shoe for me so fortunately um i have the receipt i'm gonna be returning everything that didn't work out tomorrow get my money back and trying not to get um distracted and end up using my credit to buy something else the other shoe that i wasn't sure about were these it didn't look bad but i feel like i would have to constantly squinch my feet to the top of the shoe so what did i learn from doing this i learned that in torres heels the black platform style heel the, the white and black plat st platform style heel I can actually purchase a 10 wide width with Torrid and it should fit. So both of those shoes, the black and the white, they did not have a 10 and a half available. So I got a 10 and those fit perfectly. The white ones were a little awkward to get on, but once I figured out how to get it on and get the white part across the back of my heel, they fit perfectly. It had stretch, it had give, they were comfortable. I could see myself wearing either of those shoes out to a concert somewhere where I had to walk and not feeling like I'm going to twist my ankle. At the end of the day, I have to do what's comfortable. The boots, they did fit, but my concern is they were a little bit tight on the calf and I tried everything on with what I have on right now. I didn't style it. I just gave you guys the raw footage of what these shoes fit like on me. Do they fit or do they not? It's not a lookbook by any means. It's just... Are Torrid shoes good for short, wide feet? Yes. Overall, out of 12 pairs, eight were perfect. All the sandals fit. All the flip-flops fit. Um, the boots fit my foot. They zipped up. But I wonder if I would only be able to wear like leggings or thin pants with those boots. So for that reason, I'm kind of going back and forth of if I want to return them or not. I think that these slides I may end up keeping because they're cute and, you know, they serve the purpose that I've always wanted, which was just to have a cute little girly slide. Maybe finding a dress, a rib dress that's this color would be really cute with these or even just um, a mauve pink dress would be cute too. So overall, I'm very happy with this purchase. I'll probably end up getting about... 75 to 90 dollars back because i'm definitely returning two pairs so y'all can comment down below and let me know do you think i should return these boots or not and also let me know which pair was your favorite do you want me to do more videos like this at other stores or at tour it again thank you for watching this video be sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye